Piece of burnt wood. See, it's okay. There you go. There you go. Now you're getting brave. Okay, so we just saw the the nicest water snake, and his colors were so striking. It looked like a juvenile. Like I mean, a juvenile just shed its skin. It was so bright. His colors were awesome. And he came right up to us. We were moving and talking. He didn't even care, man. Right up to us, like a foot away. So now we can't find him. Look at that. Cool friends, man. They made a, I don't know, velvet ant. They made a, or cow killer. They made a trail that I can follow to the direction that they're going in with their walking stick, and I'm positive they did that just for me. Those look like uh, Bill's tracks. Slightly positive pitch. There they are. And the eyes are brown. It's a good sign that it's a female. There you go, little guy. There you go, little girl. There you go. Awesome. Go ahead. Get away from the road. There you go. See you later, sweetie. I'm at Bad Stowe. Um, here's some nice teener, uh, cedar tannin water next to my tent. Um, some kind of trail or something. It looks like a snake, but it isn't because they wouldn't be on the bottom. But uh, it's a nice campsite. I mean, it looks pretty good. You know, this area some massive dragonflies. So I used some painter's tarp for my shelter, you know, to cover my tent, because um, that stuff's cool. You can put it in your pocket. It weighs a lot less than a tarp. And it's clear, so you can use it for a solar still if you needed to. And other stuff, you know, I just like them. Uh, it takes up less space. And uh, I had to dig some holes, tie it onto sticks, and then bury the sticks, you know, to anchor it. Over here, I used a root that I dug up. Or not dug up, but I dug under, you know. Um, and then I had a, a piece of rope. I wanted. I prefer to sleep in a hammock at night. So I had a piece of rope. I didn't want to cut the rope though. So I uh, did a cinch knot at the end here, you know, and then tied it around. You just pull the loop. Um, same on this end. You know, you just pull this, the loose end, and it should all come down. That way, I got to keep my rope. But uh, or you sleep in it at night, and it comes down. We'll see. So tomorrow should be a storm. I'm hoping. Um, on the way up here, I grabbed some firewood at the side of the road, some you know down branches, and on top of it was a fence lizard. So that's cool, a little baby guy. And I rescued a, a box turtle. Uh, she was going across the street. It was a female, I guess. She had uh, the light brown eyes, but her shell was slightly indented on the plastron on the bottom. Which that's usually the males that are like that. So who knows? Um, but I'm excited. It's supposed to be. Timber rattlers here, so let's hope there are. Really hope to see one. I made another Swiss fire uh, before I left. This one's actually working pretty good too. These things are awesome. You split your log, and then uh, there's other ways to do it too. And then you know you stuff debris in there. I wrapped it with a spruce root, and uh, then light the bottom ones. And you got somewhere to put your pan and pots when you're cooking. There you go. So, come nighttime, this place has got to sound awesome. There's so much here. This could be a cool place. I can't wait till uh, it gets dark in here, all the katydids and cone heads and stuff. It's gonna be cool. But I'm really hoping for that snake. We'll see. That, uh, still going. It's like an hour and a half later. You can't really see it, but that's a velvet ant. Also known as a cow killer. 
It's not really an ant though. It's a wingless wasp and I am sweating my butt off. Um, check this out. Oh, it's gone. I'm good at that. But uh, I gotta find a camp store, man. I think I need some bug spray. Last night I had about 150 ticks on me. It was a tick bomb. There was about less than 100 in that one one thing. And then uh, I just kept accumulating them because I was going through all this stuff. I'll never get over how much I love the pines. This place is awesome. I draw these on spots where it looks iffy, where I can get lost a little easier, just to point me in the right direction. You know, there are stars and things like that. And if I got lost, I'd eventually find my way in a day or two. Okay, so I don't know if the light's working or not, but who cares. Um, I'm trying to get a photo of some kind of assassin bug or something like that, right? And uh, there's something big walking in my hand right now. And uh, there's these owls singing all around me. Great horns, right? And they got that freaking Pine Barrens echo to them, which is awesome. And then something just <laughs> right on my backpack. Right? Something just lands right on me while I'm bending over taking a picture. And I'm just like, was that real? I mean, you know, usually things like that don't happen. Anyways turns out, come walking over my shoulder, is a flying squirrel. <laughs> a flying squirrel. So then he goes out to the branch, and he lets me take a ton of pictures of him, and he goes out, and then he turns around and comes back to me, you know, towards me. And uh, it's pretty cool, but I had to wait for the flash to recharge. But now you can hear all of a sudden big, so right here, and I can't see because of the light. Okay, at Henlopen, uh, got here not that long ago. It took me about two minutes, oh well, no probably like three minutes, three or four minutes to set up my tent with no rain fly because it's not going to rain. I don't want to see a couple of stars. And I got my trusted hammock and there's a post there that I can use for swinging, you know, for motorized power of swinging the thing. And then over here is my fire ring. I'll have that fire going when I get back. But right now, I'm going down to the ocean to check it out. It's awesome. I can swim in the ocean and come back here. Um, so, see how it is. Sorry, Andy, that you're not with me. But um, I had to leave before you got back. Way before you got back. Because um, I'm working this weekend, so... Uh, I don't have as much time as I thought. So anyways, here it is. And there's a watch, look at this, there's a watch tower. Right there. World War That's obviously World War II watch tower. And there's, oh, you can go up in this one. I'm so going up there tonight. Oh my God, it's gonna be amazing. And there's a World War II watch tower here. There's, I think there's like 13 all in total. But this one, you can actually go up in for free whenever you want. So I'll be up here tonight, which is awesome. And uh, that's that. See ya. There's my tent, way over there. Way out there. This is an awesome dune. This is called the Great Dune. It's huge. And uh, it just goes on forever. You know, it's massive and it's big and it's got all this grass, you know, dune grass and uh, juniper and uh, cedar, yucca. It's just all sorts of stuff, man. It's just amazing. And there's the watchtower, one of them. See? Watchtower. So, I just love it here. I know I say that all the time. That's because it's true. So the sand blowing and the, the dune grass, it's mostly a dune grass. But it makes the sound, it sounds just like snow falling at night. You know, when you're out there in the woods and stuff and no one's around. One of those nights where the flakes are a little crispy. It, it sounds exactly the same, it's, it's pretty cool. So, total opposite, but it's the same, uh, same personality.
Goes my shoes. Oh, these mosquitoes are gonna kick my butt. Wow. Okay, you know those big mosquitoes that they're they look like mosquitoes, but they don't bite. They're not really mosquitoes, they're a type of wasp. Or fly, it depends on what you're talking about. Well the ones here bite because they are mosquitoes. They're, they're actually scary big, and you know I never say that. It's crazy, a whole cloud. And I forgot my insect repellent in Bree's car. This is gonna suck. This is really disorienting. I'm walking along in this pine forest, right? And obviously it's very dark, but I have a flashlight. It's a wetland slash pine forest next to the ocean. I'm listening to the waves to sort of keep track of where I'm going. The only problem is, is they move around me like in 360 degrees. First it's in front of me, you know, then it's beside me, and then it's in front of me again. Now it's on my left side, which is really weird because it should be on my right side. So obviously I'm, I'm turning all around without even knowing it, you know, following these, these little logs and looking under things and everything. This is crazy, man. So I can see how you can get lost in places like this big time. Must be under the wood. Okay, got a fire with my awesome hand drill kit. This is uh, some sunflower that Cass actually grew years ago. This is a fire board that Dave had gave me, which is awesome. And there's the fire. Used pine needles, dried grass, and uh, pine cones to get it started. I'm sitting, brushing my teeth, and this guy in a golf cart pulls up, who works for the park, uh, for the campsite, campground, and he drives right up to my fire pit with his golf cart thing, takes out a shovel, and takes away the, the wood that I had set aside in the fire pit that I didn't burn all the way. <laughs> it's, it's just funny. It's like, I was going to use that, but I didn't care. He was a really friendly guy, but I just thought it was funny. Um, but they keep things clean. I was wondering why those fire pits were so clean. Now I know. Let's so check this guy out. I'm pretty sure it's a tomato hornworm from the looks of it. They all found him yesterday. He was covered with the parasitic wasp cocoon things, right? And it's the branch slipped out, so he fell. Or he didn't fall, but all the cocoons fell off. You can see the holes from where the, the larva burrowed into him. What a disturbing life, but it's all part of the cycle. Very necessary stuff, but oh my god, I'm so glad I am large. Oh my god. Look at all these fiddlers. There's a blue one. Look at all those fiddlers, man. There's just tons of them. It's like a meeting, a town meeting. There's even some over here on the new feet. Ah, it's crazy. It's so cool. Oh, and there's um, a non fiddler right there. You see it? Where? Right yep. There. I think that's a female. Yeah. Look at there's there's a big guy. See him? strap. Yeah, they're tiny. I thought those were little flies or something. Look at that little thing. That's so small here. Look, computer people, tiny. Those little dots are baby crabs. That little dot there is a baby crab. I don't even know if the camera's picking it up. blended in so well in here. Seriously. 
Well, I wonder how many hundreds we killed walking out here. Although they're small enough, they might just get compressed into the ground and then bounce back. Okay, guys, check out how fast this caterpillar runs. Now watch, he's not going to do it now. Whoa. What? This big spider just landed, or came down where the ant line was. I think he might have been trying to get it. Is it a wolf spider? Yeah. Yep, then he probably was. And there's the ant line. Um, probably on my head. No, it's right here. Oh, is he? Yeah. Oh, here. It's a female. Look how big the ant line is. The pistols and stamens come right out of that, and then you got the two petals, which are actually, if you look at them, they're like dusted, metallic, like sparkly and dusted. It's actually one of my favorite flowers. It's the work of art. That's so cool. Check out the wetland. It'd be cool if we could see Bree from here. I'll have to look for her. There's Bree's car. Right there. That's Bree's car. I'd love to throw a frisbee or like one of those little airplane things. So it'd be fun. I found Bree. That's Bree. Was free. Look, guys, another tiny little crab, totally different species than what I have in the other footage. If he'd sit still, his legs have awesome designs. His eyes stick up higher than the species we were looking at. Uh, awesome little guy. Totally cool and out of focus. Oh, there he is. Now he's in focus. Look at that little guy. Turn really slowly. Look at that, look at the stripes on his legs, people, the spots. Isn't he cool? Cool little crab. We're in Cape May. Bree said that she'll eat them. I offered 20 bucks and she said she'll eat them for free. No, I didn't. <laughs> cool, let's get you holding. There you go. Fast. He is fast. That's so cool. I'm gonna take him home. I do too. <laughs> I'd love to have a, a little. There's where it is. There she is. Not exactly bigger than a cicada killer, about the same size. So she's in there checking that out. Come back. Awesome, she'd land on me for scale. That's right next to my tent.